Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be doing another exploration video. Uh, today we're going to be doing Smith Farm. Why not? Ooh. Ah. I like to see uh, level 1 players start making a break for it. The optimism. Okay, so we're swinging over here to Smith Farm. In usual format, we're looking for resources or anything interesting about this place that we can use. And again, these are going to be this is going to be a bit slower because it's a sort of a in-depth exploration of the place. Okay, so I already see a Rad Scorp and what appears to be a Raider. It's the Raider Thief. Never believe it when someone says it's a quick job. Only quick job to win the first and it's a quick That's not Go. me. One, two. Sorry, bud. My explosion from my uh, hack and slash hit him. Is this part of the farm? This might be part of the farm. So, rad scorps are nice. If I'm not mistaken, I think I've seen the Rad Scorps here a few times. I think this might be a guaranteed location for them. Rad Scorps have Rad Scorps eggs. They're a good stopgap if you don't have a dick doll or access to it. Okay, so we're going to start over here. Some cans. Love me some cans. Cans are one of the most valuable single item because of their small weight. And the relative value to the weight. And you can tend to find them in piles. They're they're quite um, commonly available. While steel doesn't sell for a ton, um, you can pick up quite a lot of steel quite quickly, and uh, make some make some caps from that. The lead from you get one steel and one lead from a can. The lead really be the money. We get cement from here. Um, I'm generally low on cement because I never pick it up, and when I do a big uh, camp rebuild. I tend to be out of it. Yeah, this is part of the location here, so this is sort of a outbuilding. We have a collection of toxic soot flowers around here. That's nice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We also have some dogwoods here. So if you want to make some water filters, there is dogwoods. Um, the woodchuck perk does work on dogwoods. Which is nice. Uh, anything else out here? So that nice little concentration of toxic soot flowers is 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 our. They're kind of toxic soot flowers are distributed quite well through the area, but it means you gotta sort of wander around aimlessly trying to find them. So finding a nice little uh, cluster of them is, is useful. We have a selection of potatoes here. So if you're crafting adhesive um, and you're still low level, you can grab some uh, potatoes and uh, it's easy to get anything else for, for crafting adhesive. The potatoes are the thing that there's the least amount of world spawns for. Uh, some buff out. more wood over here. Not a terrible place for wood. If you need a quick little bit to get through your crafts. Is there a second floor? No. That's it for here. So there is a... Um, an aerosolizer. So this is a fer fertilizer aerosolizer for the quest dogwood die off. So uh, you do come here for that quest. Is that it for the farm? I'm just going to take a bit of a wide scan here to see if there's anything else I missed. Mailboxes are lootable. Yeah, there's two more toxic soot flowers up over here.
I love this river at night, this uh, purple and amber glow. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a toxic river, but uh, it has a nice amp ambiance to it. I've never been able to make a, a camp along it that I've been happy with. Um, I did go and buy a dumb amount of camp slots when they became available last patch, so uh, I have two, two camps that I want to do. One is around uh, this type of river here. I did make one by the Grafton Dam once, which I was almost happy with, but it was just a... it wasn't quite right. Um, and then the next one, I want to make a camp uh, over in the Ash Heap, sort of a, a mining-themed uh, camp. So I'm excited to sort of explore for locations and uh, get started on those. That's secretly the thing I love the most about this game, is uh, camp building. Anyways, uh, this is it for uh, this location. Uh, there's a following canoe here. Is there a good uh, picture for that? Yeah, we'll do something like that there. Sure. And what about over here? Just trying to, you know... Get, a, get some sight pictures. Nah, nothing good. There's uh, some white glow in the distance here. Let's explore that. No, we're not going to explore that. That just looks like a graphical bug. Yeah, we won't explore that. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. If you've liked this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I think I definitely will do more of them. Oh. But did I have a total brain fart? Why did we come here in the first place? To find cool junk. Let's go back to the camp, break it down, and see what we actually got. It's not going to be a good one. There's nothing uh, aside the soot flowers. Or the, the junk and ammo wasn't great. Actually, this might be a fine place, but... Uh, uh, dogwood that you get. If you scrap it, you get wood from it. So bleach dogwood, each one becomes, uh, three wood. So, ammo, again, we got a sort of a middle-of-the-road amount of ammo. Nothing worth farming. Junk, um, some concrete, I guess. If you're building, and 43 wood. Yeah, so the only thing they're really useful is those toxic soap flowers. Um, just because, again, they're annoying to craft anywhere else. Uh, again, I've already done the outro, so I'm just gonna say thank you. <laughs>